It's a rainy, sunny, rainy, weird kind of a Sunday, but I'm still excited because I'm going to a music studio and spending a day with a singer. Let's go. Morning. Come in. What's your morning been? I mean, it just started. I just, you know, I just woke up. Of like, you know, it hasn't begun yet. It's beginning now. Well, my morning plan is to get coffee. And then I gotta get guitar strings. So, on our way to the studio. I mean, I just don't know what to wear, you know, so that's where I'm up to. Figuring out where I put my clothes. <laughs> What's wrong with your clothes now? I mean, it's cold out there. I'm not. I'm gonna need coating, warmth. I'm gonna need a jumper of some sort. Um. Coffee. Ornate well, garden things. The uh, my. Do you always come here for your coffee? Yeah, yeah. This is my regular. If it's right next door. I wouldn't. Like some more album stuff today. Oh, bless you, bro. He's coming in with the morning. That's not even caffeinated yet. This is why I'm here, you know. David, just go. Do you need a train, my bro? Thank you. How are you going now? Sounds good. Caffeine. How long you been uh, singing, writing? I've been playing guitar since I was. 11 something like that um i never started writing songs though until maybe my early 20s but you know since then i've written quite a lot um maybe i started singing at some point i think when i was younger and you joined bands like singers are the flakiest people of all you know the people that are like I'll sing in your band, you know, I'm cool and charismatic and aloof and detached and I don't show up for rehearsals. So I think just after dealing with dudes like that for a few years, I just thought I'll do it myself. You know, it can't be that hard. And it is, but you know, thankfully I've had many, many years of practice, so I like to think I got, you know, somewhat good at it. I hope. Morning coffee, done. Cam's dressing, done. It's now time to take a short walk to the guitar store. And from there we take a taxi ride to the studio. Essentially, we're going to record one song off an album that I'm recording at the moment. Um, it's for my solo uh, project which is called Heroin Jones. I've been doing that for I can't even remember maybe since 2007? 6? And now we've got like 25 songs or something like that. What started out as one album is going to be two albums so pretty excited about that. But this is just but one song today. One. What are you going? Guitar strings. I've, as I've been ordered to.
What do you like about singing? Because you were actually <clears throat> wanting to get into acting, or no? I was going. I mean, I was. I wanted to get into making film, like behind the scenes kind of stuff, writing, directing, that kind of thing. Really love playing guitar, though. That's easily my first love, I suppose. The studio is in Newtown, not far away, where we meet up with Cam's friend, who's also his fellow band member and his music producer. Hey man, I'm Jack. Hi Jack, how are you? Good, good noise. Good noise. Beauty. Checking out how we're going to do today. And that's really good. Now there is a little um, strip maker. Oh, oh can't let her out. Oh. The studio's all the way at the back. This is wild. Interesting. Move on. Yeah. Not a lot of people don't like cats. All right. I understand. Yeah. Boundaries. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, mate. How you doing? And Minogue is doing any Hello. How you doing, man? Good, how are you? Yeah. I'm quite sure I'm interesting enough for a document. Why? And you're telling me this man <laughs> has nothing interesting to add to a documentary. All right, whatever. What else are we doing today? Um, I was thinking Fred's attachments might be a good shout. We could try. And, I um, haven't practiced any of this shit, but I mean, I did write them, so fair enough. Thank you. They are um, having the hell they cover. Yeah, but you had 10 years of practice, so it's suffer. I wrote that one last year, so. Hmm? Do you know these guys? Well, I mean, I've just met Jared here, but. Uh, but Jack is a f former and current bandmate. I mean, he doesn't just produce this band, he's in it. Which is good. He's a plate spinner, like yourself. The guys will often say, uh, why, can't you, why can't you write a happy song for once? Just write a happy song. You know, which is, I mean, I'm not doing it on purpose. I don't, they're not all depressing. I mean, I've got to write what I feel. It feels so weird. Most yeah, of the time, right? Yeah, you get used to it. Like, but anyway, you so after the guys bugging me to write a happy song, I wrote a song called Happy Song. And it goes a little something like this. I'm dying, 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 I'm so dying, I'm gonna be dead soon, and you'll be crying, but I won't be crying, cause I'm f***ing. And when you are dead, you don't feel anything anymore. I can. Um, look, can you up to activate it? Very expensive guitar, but. The song that we're doing today is um, a song called Funeral Song that um, I wrote about 15 years ago. You know, on my shitty guitar in my shitty room in my shitty house. 
arguably like, you know, one of the worst eras in my life, I guess. I can't like power it. Does that make sense? So I'm like, <clears throat> I think I'm just missing them. Okay. But like I said, if I don't have to play at the same time, I could probably do it in at the same time, time in the same room. I think that's the only way we're going to capture accurately the emotion of it. I know. Yeah. It'd be too clean if we did it otherwise. All right. <clears throat> in that case, I'm going to need a lot more of me, my vocals in the truth there because I'm like. I'll need to be able to hear it, like, whilst also not pushing. It's called Funeral Song because I have thought in the past, like, what would I like played at my funeral? Should I perish? You know, like, and then, you know, I thought, well, I am a musician, so why not just write one, right? It's coming from me. Essentially, that's what it is, really. It's a song to be played at my funeral or anyone's funeral, really. When I'm a million miles away I know I'll always be with you and I know you'll be okay I have to go this way alone Please don't try to follow, it will be easier When I'm gone It's been three hours of singing a very emotional song, a song that's clearly emotional for Cam. Takes after takes after take, trying to get the perfect note. Cam decides to take a short break before he returns and goes through it all over again. What a strange day. Weather-wise, I mean. If, you, if you've got a song that's like... less than happy in its tone, you don't, you know, you want to do it justice by... Come, you know, having it come out like that. You, you, you want to tap into how you felt when you wrote it, or... You know, you can't be all happy and shit. Like, just coming out like, hey! This is sad, <laughs> and it's it's really yeah, hard at the same time like you don't want to you don't you don't want to do this like you know I'm gonna go to a dark place and stay there kind of shit which sounds wanky but it's true you've got to like you can't you can't be all smiling when you sing a song like that. And my job is to try and just temporarily pop you in that dark place and then pop you back out because mm, like otherwise like a magician and I'm a rabbit. Funnily you say magician, because I've got to try and capture the spell of the song. It's one of my first mentors is like, don't want to break that spell. Sure. Well, you want to give it another take? Did you do what you needed to do? Um, or are you going to wait for it? No, it's just like, I think it was just a strange oh, pop or okay. something. Oh, you've got me one. How long have you guys known each other for? About three years. Yeah, yeah it'd be, be about three years now. Just, just before COVID. Yeah. 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 Not that long. It feels a lot longer. Doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it really does. How did you come together? You know, through friends like uh, Jack was. Uh, I was studying, studying at uni, like, and I needed a band to record, so I went to my friend, the local barista Lauren, um, and I'm like, "Hey, I need a band to record. Do you know anyone?" And she put me onto her brother-in-law's band, um, and Cam was the other vocalist in that. So I produced their record, and I made Cam cry. Then he asked if he could uh, 
join the band. So he did. And, uh, you know, so Jack kind of continues to make music whilst also produce music yeah. with us. That's great. Yeah. Anyway, we need to get taped on. Jewels in heaven They don't look the same to me I just wait the tides to turn Till I learn to leave the past behind So many lies Please don't try to follow in with me That's the take. We're gonna do. What time will you take a break? Hey, just watch. I, I'll forget to eat. The strings will get here. I'll get all involved in packing up and I won't eat until like 9 p.m. Cam though needs some nutrition. So we walked to a nearby convenience store. The choice. All I wanted was a Pepsi. Just Pepsi. Oh wow, the string quartets who Jack invited are here. Hey there. Hi. What is that? It's a hurdy gurdy. <laughs> I don't know how it works. I have no idea. You've been playing it for too long? Um, yeah, a couple of years. Wow. <laughs> no. One minute. I'm trying to tune it, but it's not working very well. i 
mortality was something that really scared the shit out of me quite a bit as a kid. You know, I, I would think about it a lot. And so I think the, I think the reassuring nature of the song, uh, I mean, it sounds like, you, you know, I'm reassuring everybody else in the event of, you know, my demise, but really it's probably just me, you know, and, and, and my ability to accept that one day I'm going to die. How do you think uh, the session went today? It was tough. Um, successful. Sounds really good. Never worked with a full string ensemble before. So I revive, that was a first, I gotta say. Yeah. I think it went good. It was successful. I didn't I mean, manage to make Cam cry, which I was genuinely trying to do. Yeah, but that's not hard. <laughs> yeah, I cried at the end of Armageddon. <laughs> but yeah, that was good. All right, yeah. let's get out of here.